All right, it is 518 and after a long week, Holly, it looks like rain. Is it? Is that rain? <laughs> yeah, I see like that. maybe. Ooh. I know. Yes, maybe a little bit. Here we're looking at Lake Pleasant. There's a gauge just a little bit further north of this at the top of the lake now showing temps in the lower 90s. So we're getting some of that rain cool there. It's a little bit hard to see, but we see a little bit of some light rain coming down here at this point, but it is pretty windy. Wind sustained around 25 miles an hour there with gusts in the 30 mile an hour range. So yeah, if you have friends, family uh, out there on the lake, maybe check in on them. Hopefully they're able to get to the shore or definitely get off the lake. As you can see, these dark clouds out there in the distance. Since this activity is moving up from the north. Take a look at this. Some hail also coming down in Flagstaff. This came in to our first alert Facebook page from our viewer Mandy. You could see it was some very heavy rain outside of her house and then some uh, light hail that came down pretty quickly earlier today too. So we're looking at that first alert radar right now. What passed down to the north is continuing to push its way further on south. So here's the I-17. We still have some flooding concerns out near the Pine and Strawberry area because of the heavy rain that came down there. Again, pushing its way from north to south. So we're looking right along the 17 freeway. Definitely going to be some slick roadways out there. Prescott has had some on and off rain throughout the last couple of hours. Some gauges up there shy of just an inch of rain that have come down so far and then getting a little bit closer here into the valley. There goes that outflow boundary that you could see there pushing out from some of those showers and storms. So that's firing off what's behind it. We have strong winds, some thunderstorms passing right through Black Canyon City. There's Lake Pleasant. So again, we saw some light rain there here. It looks like it could continues to push its way further south and out to the west too, and it should be covering a good part of the lake here within the next hour. We're going to continue to see if these can hold together and push through as they push their way further down south here into the valley area. But again, some strong gusts already in the 20 mile an hour range here across the valley. Temps outside right now are still toasty 107 here in Phoenix. 60 is much nicer in Flagstaff and in Payson, upper 70s right now in the Sholo area. So we had 110 today. Another 110 on the board. That's just one degree shy of our previous record. We set back in 79. This overnight low, too, we only cooled to 91. That sets our new record for a warm overnight low temperature today. So we've beaten the record of 110s. We've had 58 uh, days of 110 or higher. The greatest number of days was 55 just last year, so we are definitely on a roll. Hoping to not add to that, we have 107 for Sunday and Monday. Could get close to 110 Tuesday, Wednesday, and then temps will cool down as we head into next weekend.